she literally, I was singing a song so bad.
Hello. Hello. Hola. Hello. Who is JP? JP Morgan. Yeah, he's, he's watching the, the Shia. I didn't know he was Jewish. <laughs> I don't know who JP is. Hello, JP. JP is not there. Yes, he is there. Yeah, just the computer is there, but he's not there. Who he or she. JP? How was your Mother's Day, guys? <laughs> good. Good. Very good. That's good. I told my, uh, I told Elena, I'm not your mother, so <laughs> yeah. nothing to do. <laughs> then you're done. You're yard to. Nothing to do. That's it. <laughs> That's it. You did. That's it. It's right. your fault. You made her a mother. It's, it's, it's my your fault. kid's responsibility. It's up to them. Uh huh. But really, who is JP? <clears throat> Harold? I don't know. Shall I bump him or her? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm going to send a text. Okay. Who are you? <clears throat> So where's Ernie at 10 minute lead time? What happened? It was, it was just there. He probably went to go do a surgery in between. Yeah. Mario, what page did we leave off last time? 41. 40, 40 actually. We're 41. 40, 40. 13. 13. Hi, Susie. Hi, Ernie. Hi. Hi Happy guys. Mother's Day, Susie. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Everybody, happy Mother's Day. Er Ernie, Ernie? Yes. Who is JP? Oh, Jacob Polavoy. No, my my son-in-law and my grandson. Oh. oh, okay. Okay. Wait, what, what page are we on? We are on- uh, Suzanne. Hi. Hey, Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. We're in Perak Vav, Pasuk Yud Beis is where we left off. Yes. And we're dealing with the episode where the fish team send the Aron back to Beit Shemesh. And they placed the Aron on a wagon and they hitched it to a number of cow, female cows. And the female cows that ha had children, they sent the children home. So the fact that they went to Beit Shemesh is a simon that uh, the, uh, and the, go the, the governors of Plishtim were watching all of this to determine indeed that it confirmed to them that this was all Maisa Nisim, Maisa Shep. And then the Pasuk Yudbez says, Vayisharna haparois baderech. We'll have to explain what that means. Vayisharna sounds like they sang but it's also from the Loshan Yashar that they went straight. Al Derech Beit Shemesh, to the road towards Beit Shemesh, Bim Silachad, one road. Halchu Aloch Vigao. Gao means they, 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 mo, they uh, load. You know, they made that noise that cows do oh. for their mother, for their mm. child. Correct. Thank you. The Losaru Yamin is small. They didn't veer right or left. The Sarne Plishtim Olchmachreim, the governors of Plishtim are walking behind them, Advul Beit Hashemesh. So Rashi on Vaisharna says, Hare Teva Zu Androgynous. This word, the word Androgynous in Halacha refers to a human being that's born with both male and female genitalia. Um, so therefore, 
in Digdok, when they say the word androik, a letter, a word is androikinous, it means it has both male and female connotations. Like the Sifse Zikanim uh, explains this Rashi, the word Vaisharna is Kalul Miloshan Zohar or Miloshan Nekeva. It's got both a male form and a female form. For example, Midiloxi Vatisharna, the Kasuv Biyudu Miloshan Zohar. If it was referring to female singing, it should say Vatisharna, not Vayasharna. Umidiloxi Vayashiru, which would be if males were singing, because of Vayisharna, that refers to female, who Gamke Loshan Nekeva. And Chazal learned from here that the, the mother, the mothers were obviously female and their children were male. And both they were singing Shira to Hashem as well as the children that were left behind. That's why Rashi says, They had been sent home to their barn and what shira did they say? Rani Rani Hashita Itnofafi Bakhuli. Now Kidiita Bimasahta Vodazara. So exactly what they so Khazal in Avodazara Daf Khaf Dalid say Vaisharna Paras Pader Khadir Beshamash. My Vaisharna. What did they sing? Om Rav Yeshna Mishum Rav Meir, Sha'amru Shira. They sang Shira. Rav Zutra Bar Tuv Yomarav, she Yashru Pneim Kineged Aron Vayomru Shira. They straightened their their way, their face towards the Aron, and they said Shira to the Aron. My Shira Amru. What did they sing? Amru of Yechon Mishum Rav Meir Az Yashir Moshe of Nei Israel. They sang the Az Yashir. Rav Yechon and Didei Amar is in his own own name said. That what they sang was Vaamartemba Yomahu, Hodul Hashem Kirubishmo. Vereish Lokish Omar, Mizmor Shiru Lashem Shir Hadosh, Kiniflota Shah, Hoshia Loyumino Zra Kotcho. Rab Lazar Omar Hashem Molach Yigzuami. Rab Shmovar Nachmeni Omar Hashem Molach Geis Lovish. And Rab Yisak Navcha Omar, this posit that Rashi quoted. Roni, Roni, Ashita, Itnofafi, Barova, Derech. So, Machlokas in the Gemara, Amiroim, what exactly did they sing? Now, I want to explain some other comments that the Rishoni make regarding this. The Rivid, right? Uh, when you learn the Rambam, the Yav Chazoka, the major disputant of the Rambam is the Rivid. So the Rivet wrote, "V'toma ani im amru shira bilshonam shalaparos." If were, were they speaking Hebrew, the paros, or were they speaking cow? Right, birds speak birds. Remember, Shlomo Melech could understand the language <laughs> of animals. So did they say a shira in their own language? If so, asked the Rivet, "Miaya magid et shira zot." Who translated it? Then the Ustakdiem, the Arma Beloshna Kodesh, if they actually opened their mouth and said it in Hebrew, Ech lo nachshove ptichat pia poros, kemosha choshwe ptichat pia aton. We know the famous Mishnah in Pirkei Ovos, where it says, Asara dvar nivru ben ashmoshes. On the last day of creation, in the twilight between Yom and Laila before Shabbos, Hashem created unusual things. One of them was the mouth of the Bilam's Oson, right? Bilam's donkey that opened up a mouth to him. This is a special creation. Normally, donkeys don't speak. So the rabbit is asking, if indeed these cows sang in Hebrew, why isn't it mentioned this miracle as well? So therefore he holds Yesh Loimar Shebil Shoinam Amrua. They spoke in cow. Vahayashami Shehevinish Loshna Poros. And there was somebody there who could translate. Like it says in the Sahta Sukkah Kafchas, 
Rav Yechel ben Zakai Shahaya Yodea Sikhas had the Kolim. Rav Yechel ben Zakai, the palm trees would speak or would say something, Shira, and he would understand what the Kolim was saying. That's how the Ravid learns. The Ritva, in his commentary there as well, Navod Zara, he says clearly, Sha'omra Paras is Ashir Beloshna Kodesh Mamish. They actually spoke Hebrew. And that's why there's a machlokas, like we read in the Gemara. What did they say? So then, to answer the Rivet's question, if they spoke in Hebrew, why has this not been mentioned? Why wasn't it mentioned with these other Nisim? The general miracle of Hashem opening up the mouth of, a, of an animal was already discussed. So this falls under that. This is like the Av Malacha, like Av and Toldos. This is like the index case. The, the Chomas Anach explains um, it was because the Oron is in the wagon behind them. That gave him this power to be able to speak in Hebrew. Now, the Chidushe Agodes of the Maharal is a very interesting thing to learn here. He says, the Shira of the cow there was no speech like we understand speech. The fact that the cows walked in a straight way and didn't veer, like Kidichsi by Yisharna, they went straight, Yashar. This is a song of nature. What is the concept of Shira? To give praise to Kodesh Baruch Hu. The ain't shvach gadol yoter me'asiyat ritzono l'kadei There's no greater Shira than if a creature of a Kodesh Baruch Hu does what a Kodesh Baruch Hu wants it to do. U'memei l'choshu v'alichosam zuk shira. Zuk shira. The Paras straight walking to Beit Shemesh, that was their Shira. And that's, the Maral explains why there was different opinions, exactly what Shira's is it like. According to the one that says, it's like Oz Yashir, Moirish Hashem Yisbarach Hashem Otsiyam Yat Vitrayim, Eino Ozevotam Biyatsoneim. It recalls the miracle by the Yamsu, that HaKadosh Baruch is not going to let us fall into the hands of our enemy. So the Az Yashir is the representative Shira of that. Just like the Yisrael said Shira then, because they were saved from their enemies, here as well, the Bnei Yisrael are going to be saved from their enemies, the Plishti. The Baral connects this concept that we, we have other concepts in the, in the Gemara where the sun would say Shira, or the tree, it says when, when the first grasses came up on the fourth day of creation, they said Shira. Don't you have the whole Perak Shira? Every so you have, have, a, you have a, the Perak Shira, you have a very long list. And, of, you, have, and you have Perak Shira. So the, where it goes through many different uh, creations that, are, that say Shira. So the Maral would learn similarly in all those places that Hashomayim is Saprim Kvod Kel Umaisa Yodav Magida Rakia. That means the handiwork of a Gadosh Baruch Hu, the normal functioning of all the various creations, that's the Shira. Okay, so <coughs> that's the pasuk regarding the the poros. Next pasuk. 
Ubeit Shemesh Kotrim Ktsrichitim Ba'emet. The people of Beit Shemesh are harvesting wheat in the valley. They lift their eyes. They were happy, says Rashi. That it was coming by itself. Says Rashi. Therefore, there was some lack of kavod. The lahayu mistaklim ba be'ema v'derech kavod. And it's this Rashi is important because we're going to see that the the people of Beit Shemesh were punished. Now, the Radak says. They were so happy, they went to the urn and opened it up to see what's in it. Says the Radak, because we'll see, we have a Pasuk in Bamidbar. There's certain Kedusha in the Kodesh Kadoshim, etc., where there's a law that you're not allowed to look directly on it. And there's not a lot to look directly at it. We're going to see from that, from this is one of the reasons why there's going to be punishment that uh, occurs to, to the people of Beit Shemesh. I'm going to read from a Medrash Eliyahu Rabba regarding this as well. Sarnei Plishtim, Shayu Malavin Aron, the Medrash says that these governors of the Plishtim, remember, were tagging along to see what happened. Kivan Shayu Rechokim Beit Shemesh Kalpai Mama Bimida, once they got within 2,000 Amis of the city, Amru Natala Sabgadim, Venanichon Bemokom Mutsna. The police team had taken the big day kahuna of Chafni and Pinchas along with them. And they said, let's put it in a hidden place. Let's see how the Jews treat in COVID status their God. The governors had also removed their regular clothing so that they wouldn't know that who they were. Normally they were dressed in various Kovadika manner. That's what it means that they 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 took off their clothing. And they, they took off their clothes. They should have taken their clothes off and covered their eyes. The Musar Navim says, Like it says in Bamidbar, Vloyavoli Roske Balasa Kodesh Vamesu. Even Levim couldn't stare directly at the Aron. The love of Lipol if they are Aron Shaachas or Shtaim or Sholosh. They would, they would cover their faces until maybe the Levim would come and cover the Aaron properly. However, says the Medrash Haim Lo Asuke, the Jews working in the fields did not do that. They started dancing, the Zokrim and Sneim, lifting their eyes, the Ondim, Umeraktim, they danced. Umidvar Midvar Museirim words that weren't necessary. Lefichach naflu mi Yisrael chamishim elef. We're going to see the Pesach says 50,000 people died. The Gam Sanhedrin doylimam and 70 chachamim from a Sanhedrin. Says the Medrash, mi haragas kol eli. What caused the deaths of all these people? 
There's a media connected media. The, 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 the magefa occurred for a reason because of lack of cover. You dalit. Vagala ball stay your shua be tashim shiva tamotsha. The wagon came to rest at the home of Yoshua, Beit Hashimshi, who was from Beit Shemesh. Visham Evan Gdola. There was a big stone there. By Vakuat Atzeagala, they broke up the wooden wagon. They made a grill, a mizbeach, but taparo sealu olalashem. And then they offered these cows as korbonis. So first of all, Yoshua was an Adam Chashuv. And that's why it stopped there as a, as a nace. And that it stopped in front of a big Evan was also seen as a sign that they should make a Mizbeach there. How could they how could they offer a korban? Aren't you supposed to do korbanos only in the Beis Hamikdash? So this we already discussed. Mishkan Shiloh had been destroyed. So in the fifty-seven years between the time that the Mishkan was destroyed, thirteen years in the city of Noth, and forty-four years in the city of Givon, it was allowed to have a private bama in your backyard. And you could offer korbonites there, like an Ola. You couldn't offer korbonite sipur. For example, the daily Ola Satonit, the daily Ola that was offered in the morning and the afternoon, that was only done in the Mishkan in Nov or in Givo. Kor korbonite, the korban Pesach could not be offered in your private Bama. You had to go up to the city of Nov, your Dalad Nisan, and offer your korban Pesach there. You couldn't bring a korban Chatas. Let's say you did an Avera Bishogeg that normally would give you Kores. So you couldn't offer that Korban on a Bamas Yachid. So you could offer an Ola, an Olas Nadavna, and a Shlamim, like a Korban Toda, which is a Shlamim, could be offered on a private Bama. So therefore, it was permitted to do this. Now, There is a Gemara in Avodah Zarah. Hey, Chutru Livnei Beit Shemesh Lekabel Beheim and Agoyim Ula Kripa Lashem. How could you accept these animals came from the Plishti? How can you offer a korban from animals that was sent by non-Jews? Shenemar v'taparot halu ola Lashem. Ha'ein makabel beheim and Akum. Now. Non-Jews can send an Ola to the Beis Amikdash, but the way they did it is they sent money, and the money was used to buy a behemoth that belonged to a Jew. Now, what is the problem with animals owned by non-Jews? Well, the problem is there was bestiality. We have lots of Gomorrah, there's a lot of uh, uh, a lot of halachas in the Torah that tell us you're not allowed to live with an animal. But uh, it was more prevalent among the Eino Yehudim. Okay. So there, and you're not allowed to offer a korban that bestiality has been committed with it. But also they couldn't be worked, right? No, that's a paraduma. You're allowed to, oh. once you, what you're talking about, Mario, is once you designate a, corb, a Corbin as Harezu Shlomim, then you can't work it. But an animal that's worked could be offered as a Corbin. Okay. But there's All certain exclusions. Right. So if it had been involved in that kind of Avera, you wouldn't be able to offer it. And it's assumed that, that, that if you get it from an Eino Yehudi, then it's, then it's going to be a problem. So how could they do it? So 
the before she makes a hoi rosh shais, the meanes, shenasalem. Since the nase occurred, it was it was allowed, it was a hoi rosh shah. It means it was a, a psak for that generation. Not only that, normally an ola is a male animal, not a female. Again, here, since it was a female, you see many proofs that this was a hoirosha. And some hold the shita that in a bomas yachid, you could offer a female animal as an ola, which you couldn't do in the Mishkan or the Beis Amigdash or in Nova Givo. That ola had to be a male. Okay. So you see a lot of halach, a lot of side tangential halachas are learned from these psukim and navi. Pasuk tesvav. So they waited until the Levium came. Remember, the Lev only the Bnei Kahat can carry the Aron. So the Levium came and they took the Aron off the wagon. And remember, the Plishtim had sent back a chest with the various gifts, the golden mice, the golden hemorrhoids, Vayasimu ela Evan Agdola, and they placed it on this big stone. The Anche Beit Shemesh Halu Alot by his Bechus Vachim by Yomahul Hashem, and the people of Beit Shemesh offered other korbanos in Thanksgiving for the for the nays that the Aaron came back uh, to the Jewish people. The Chamisha Sarnei Plishtim Ro these governors of Plishtim saw what was going on. And Vayashuvu Ekron Vayabahu, they saw what they wanted to see, uh, the differences between how Klal Yisrael was Machabedet versus them, and that they did see that it was all Maisenisim, that the, the Poros came to where they were supposed to come and they stopped and, and etc. So they, they, they fulfilled what the governors were supposed to do. The Eilat Chorea Zahav, Okay, we learned that already. Okay. Velut Koreas have these golden hemorrhoids. Ashray Shivu Plishtim Ashram Lashem that the Plishtim gave as a gift to Hashem. They came from La Ashtod Echad. La'aza echad, la'ashkelon echad, la'gat echad, la'ekron echad. These five cities are the five cities of the Plishtim, each one having their own governor. Posuk yud ches, v'ach pre azov, the mice, mispar kolare Plishtim l'chamesh asasarnim. There were five of them, each for each governor, for each city. Mi'ir mivtsar v'ad kofar ha'prazi, the ad avel hagdola. So, this is the big stone. Oh, it was up of the, the pasuk that we talked about before was even gdola. Why here is it called avel gdola? Right. Asher inich valet aron Hashem ad ayom azeb is de Yoshua beit Hashimshi. Whenever it says in Navi ad ayom azeb means until it was written. Shmuel and Navi wrote say for Shmuel. So this Evan was still there when the, at the time when Shmuel wrote it. That's what it means when it says Adayom Azeb. And it stayed there to remember the nays that occurred. Says Rashi by Avel Agdoila. He Avel Agdoila, Amor Lamalo. Sha'alam et Bobim Kom Nun. And he gives a few examples in other places in Novi Vichem. Nishka in the Chemya, B'mokam Lishka, B'sefer Ezra. However, this is Rashi's main point. It's called here Ovel Agdola, Mibnei She'ira Lehem Avelus, B'dover Korcha Ovel. Because now many people are going to die, there's going to be Avelus. 
So here the, the Torah switched the word to say Avel. Pasuk Yutes. Vayach ba'anshe Beit Shemesh ki ra'u baron Hashem. The Anshe Beit Shemesh were struck because they, they gazed at the Oro. Vayach ba'am shivim ish, chamishim elef ish. So strange syntax. It says, was struck 70 people and 50,000 people. Vayitablu ha'am, and they mourn, ki kashem ba'am makagdola. Rashi. First he quotes the Targum. Uptal besave ama shivim gavra. Among the elders, 70 zakenim were killed. Uve kahala, by the regular am, chamishin elef gavra. Virabosenu amru. In Sota Lamed Hay, Omed Beis, Shivim Ish, Shekol Echad Hayashar Kol Kachamishim Elef. Seventy people were were killed. Each one was worth fifty thousand people. Oh, Chamishim Elef Ish, fifty thousand people were killed. Shekol Echad Shachul Keshivim Sanedrin. Each one of those people were comparable to the seventy people in the Sanedrin. And that's the exact Gemara in, in Sota Lamede. So we have to, we, I want to go into this in depth. Why were the people in Anche Beit Shemesh killed? So the Mitzudas David learns Parshat Pshat. Ki ro'u bar Hashem, ro'u kipshuto. I mean, they saw it. Shepatchu Aron the ro'u bo bifnin. They opened up the Aron and saw what was inside. That's why it says, Ra'u Ba'aron. It doesn't say Ra'u Aron Hashem. It says Ba'aron. Look at this puzzle. Ki Ra'u Ba'aron Hashem. So they looked inside of it. The puzzle that we already quoted. Now the Radak says, Ki Ra'u Ba'aron Hashem velo azvu m'lachtam shayu kotrim tzirchitim. They should have dropped their implements that they were using to harvest the wheat and focused on the Aron. But that's not what they did. They continued working. They, they, get, they looked at it, they continued working. They were not machshavin enough. And therefore, the, the word ra'u is a, is a loshon bizoyon. Like it says in Shira Shirim, al tiruni shanish chachores. Don't look at me in, in, in a certain way which is a, is a bizarre. Now, the Radat brings the Gemara in Sotu Laman Hay that says, <coughs> that they said like this, Nili Nami Amur. They said, who angered you that you weren't able to save yourself? They, referring to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That means, how come you didn't save you? You allowed yourself to be taken prisoner by the police chief? And then who, who was Mephias you? That means who uh, apologized so that now you you came back on your own. So the very very bizarre words 
to be addressed to the oral. And then, of course, the marshal br brings what the, the Elio Rabba, which we said they should have put their clothing on their face rather than dance and all that. They didn't have enough aim of the year to the, to the Aron. And in the Bracious Rabba, Simon Nun Dalid, Amra Vabo, Lama Lakwan She Beit Shemesh, Amra Kodesh Baruch Hu, Ilu Tarna Galto Shalecha Be'am Avda, Haya Machzer Le'a Kamok Tzach Laviyah. If one of these farmers had lost a chicken, they'd be running around from here to there trying to find the lost chicken. The Aroni B'Sdeh Plishtim Shiva Chadoshim Ve'en Atem Ashgichim Bo. And the Aron is in Beit Shemesh, remember, the Aron is in Plishtim for seven months. Remember, Beit Shemesh is the closest city to Plishtim. And nobody bothered to try to get me back? The Musar Nevi'im analyzes this. Efshar Odlo Sifulomar, the Lakach Nergu Aza Toivim Shabi Israel. Even good Jews were struck. First of all, the Plishtim did treat the Oran Hashem B'Kovod. So first of all, when the Jewish people first brought the Oran in Perak Dalid, they said, They were frightened. Who's going to save us from HaKadosh Baruch Hu? This is the same HaKadosh Baruch Hu that struck the Mitzrim. Right? There was a tremendous COVID that the police team showed. They gave gifts. The Yisrael Ba'atzvam lo nagu bo'kovod. And in respect, Yisrael did not treat it with kovod. V'shasha please team ayu mazkir mes nisei Mitzrayim ayu b'nei Yisrael masichim daita mizeh. They they forgot about the Nisim that, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu did for them. So there was like a, a prosecutor attorney that could now cause The Musa Revim wants to give another pshat. There's a Gemara in Masech the Tainis Daf Lamed Amid Beis. Whoever is mournful on Yushalayim, Tisha B'Av, Yud Zayim B'Tamuz, so such a person who mourns for Yushalayim, he's going to see the rebuilding of Yushalayim. This medrash says like this. When B'nai Yisrael was in Mitzrayim as slaves, and then they were about to come out of Mitzrayim, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu was goyzer, that they should bring the Korban Pesach, the Mitzrayim came to eat with them. HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, Arlam HaKadosh Baruch Hu, chas v'shalom, kol ben nechar lo bo. A non-Jew cannot eat the Korban Pesach. There wasn't one Egyptian that throughout the, the bitter gullahs that the Jewish people had in Mitzrayim that came and had sympathy for them. Only when it came time for Klai to leave, then then the Mitzrayim wanted to join in. Since the Egyptians did not 
suffer along with the Jewish people, they can't participate with the Jewish people. Says the Musa, when Shiloh was destroyed, apparently the Jewish people didn't mourn enough for the destruction of Shiloh. And and that the Aaron had been taken captive, captive. Like the Medrash we just quoted about Breshis Rabba, that if uh, if they had lost a chicken, they would go looking for it. But here nobody went by the, the for seven months to try to do anything about taking the Aaron back. So you see, Shalois Ablu al Zekolazman. The Lachain Kishigiz Mana Simcha, Shalach Zaras Aaron Komo. So now, similarly, when there's happiness that the Oran is coming back to its place, and they thought that they could be mishtatif in the simcha, very interesting limud here. Okay. Actually, I saw something. I mean, I'm, I'm sure everyone's learning uh, since the Lag, Lagba Omer, different, all kinds of different things that people are writing. Um, but um, one of the things that I saw just the, over Shabbos was very similar to what you just said here is that um, it's a whole long piece, but the take home lesson to me was are we, in fact, instead of um, even since the COVID uh, began, are, you know, people are, are somehow naturally yearning for, you know, back to normal, back to normal. But in fact, is that what we're meant to be doing? And even with this Maron situation, should we be yearning that we should be able to be going to Maron and Davin by Kivre Tzadikim there or anywhere? Rather, this person was writing, shouldn't we be yearning for the return of the Beis HaMikdash? And that's what we should be yearning for. Because uh, when that's there, we don't have to be dominating by Kivrei Sadiq and we don't have to worry about being able to fly all over or, you know. So I think the point was, is now you're making it even stronger with what you just said, because you reminded us if, if in fact we are not focused on, on the real issue of what's really happening here, which is the Kavod Hashem in, in Gullahs big time in our times, um, then Oiva Vailanu, that uh, who's going to be worthy to uh, participate in the uh, the good time? Exactly. By the way, to add what Suzanne very, very sharply said that, and I, the Musar Avim says, you know, Chazal say in Sanhedrin Sachet Samachet, Yeshlanu lefachet mechevel eshal Mashiach. Oh boy. Many tzaddikim. They always said, you know, they don't want to see the the birth pains of Mashiach. It means he should come, but I may not want to see it. Why do they have this pachat? It's similar to what Suzanne said. That each one of us, see, we live without Navim today. You had a Navi like Shmuel who's going to point out to Kleisel exactly what they did wrong. So that's, that's what's so hard in our day. We don't necessarily always realize what are the good things we're doing, what are the bad things we're doing. Yeah, but yeah. the people in those days didn't have the Navi Shmuel to read. <laughs> we do. We can learn it and see. I mean, this luck. That's correct. But that's correct. Luck Omer was as loud as any Navi could be. I can't imagine a more direct message to us to shape up than at Rashbi on Lagba Omer with the most amazingly special, incredibly wonderful tzaddikim type of people that covers every range. So who who was not included? I mean, what? to me, literally, because I started tuning in to you the last two weeks, when that little boy disappeared for two hours, two Sundays ago, it was a, it was within an hour after you finished talking. When I had tuned in after a long while, thanks to Ellen, who keeps pushing me, do it, even if you're not there every time, every time you're there, it's good for you. And I said, she's right, if I'm not there every time, so don't you, but I just finished that when they, they captured the Aron two weeks ago, 
Right. And then I hear this little boy for the next two hours or however long it was, our whole entire community is suffering. Okay, I can't imagine like the parents, but nevertheless, all of us were osmensch, completely osmensch. Either people jumped into the search or said to Hillem or just until we heard that he was fine. And I stopped and said, oh my gosh, Hashem is talking to us, but how could I even think that? Because I just listened to you, doctor. So as a matter of fact, I was primed for saying, our whole community just had to undergo two hours of, 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 of tsar. We should be doing something. What should we be doing? What could I do? What should I be doing better? Then that Thursday night, Rahman al-Litzlan, a loud booming voice. I mean, what else, what closer to a baskal or I don't know what you call the type of thing. I, I mean, so of course, everyone's been reading, what is the message? What's the message? And everyone has to find their own message. But this Shabbos, I read that piece over there, which takes a pasuk from Hosea. Don't even ask. It's a whole long thing, which I have to review again and again. But the take home message was, because apparently it was in Hebrew, he's talking to people in Israel who are concerned, you know, what will be at Meron and how, how will we be able to go to Kivrit Sadiqim? And he says, are you crazy? I mean, he doesn't say it like that. He says it nicely, but are we supposed to be davening to be able to continue to daven at Kivrit Sadiqim? That's what our she'ifos are for? Ask Hashem to, we, we need, we want Hashem to have his base of Migdash back, the Kavod Shamayim that is so trampled in our day and age. I don't know. And now you're adding on top of it. And if we're not doing that, then we're not even rachas v'chalila, not even zeicha to be part of the, if we haven't been yearning for that. So this is really powerful, frankly. And here, right. And here, here. Right out here, it's can, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> this can, is, can, you imagine you, can you imagine you live in a little village and the Arana Kodesh comes back to your, to your village. Uh, 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 and, and and it sounds like they, they did korbonois. It sounds like they were very happy. But obviously there were there were chisroinois in how they received it. So on one hand, it's like Khutasara that the uh, we see throughout all the Navi that we're learning that people are treated on a very, very high level. And based on the level that these Jews were at at that time, they they there was a lack of kavan, there was a bizoyon. But this last point of yours is addition to that. They're taken to task for not having looked for it for the seven months. And not, and not that's searching. That's the part that's uh, that's the part that's speaking to us. Are we looking for? Do we miss it? Do we real? Do we? Are we looking a chicken we would look for? But this we're not looking for. That's right. the part that's as extremely extremely put the fear of God in you right there. Right. And I like what you said that even though we don't have. Shmuel Anavi with us, we have Sefer Shmuel. Exactly. And hopefully, and hopefully the learnings that we've been doing, I, I try particularly, I, I, I like the Musra Hanavim. The, he was, he's a Rav in Denver, or he was a Rav in Denver. And he the, tries to distill some kind of Musra, some kind of, uh, some kind of Musra Haskel for us and all of the various Limudim we've had he he brings out and that and that that, that came from the Musar and the Vim, you know, because that, it, that, there is a way to try to affect, like you were saying, our daily lives by some of the lessons we learn in the Navi. Thank you. So, Pasuchav. Now there's some self-realization. Who can stand? We have a problem. We have this aron, but we are not roy for it. Who, who, where should the aron go? Kiryat Yarim was a, a, a city that lived in the mountain. Remember, we said Beit Shemesh was in an Amek. So a shivu plishtim et aron Hashem. They, the people of Beit Shemesh, informed the people of Kiryat Yarim. That the police have returned the Aron, Redu Aluo to Alechem. Please come down and take the Aron to you. And just to introduce Perak Zion, Vayavoan She Kiryat Yarim, Vayaluot Aron Hashem. So the Kiryat Yarim people come and take the Aron. Vayavio to El Beit Avinadav Bagiva. 
they bring it to a home of Abinadav up on a mountain. Then his son, Elazar, was sanctified to be Shoimer the Aron, Lishmart Aron Hashem. So we see now all of a sudden uh, tshuva, right? We see a, a different approach. Kedusha, Shmira, attention. And this introduction where the aura now is the Beit Avinadav is going to begin the reign of Shmuel Anavi where he now takes over as the Navi. And the, the reign of Shmuel, who is compared to Moshe of Aaron, is going to begin here. So I'm going to leave at that, at that location so we can start learning Perak Zion beginning and a little introduction to Shmuel, to Shmuel's reign as his Navi and the chronology. I will send everybody in uh, the Mari Kra, which is a famous Mari Kra that will go through the, a chronology of Shmuel, the period of time that he was gonna, how it relates to the 57 years of Nova Givon. And, and we will do that next week. So any questions, any further, any other comments by? Wonderful comments tonight. Any, uh, uh, how do you see everybody? You see everybody. Okay. Um, everybody, I wish everybody to have a good good week this week. A good Thank week. Thank you. Thank you. Not, not, next, not next week. Oh, oh it's going to be. Ne next week is Shavuos. Well, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sunday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Sunday night. And yeah. yeah. No, Sunday Shavuos is, is Sunday, is Sunday, Sunday night. night. Sunday night. So uh, we'll have a, so we'll have, we will start Perek Zayim Hashem two weeks from now. Two weeks. Have a All good, right. have a good, and a good, have a good, uh, good and a good Yontem, okay. and a good week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.